Hi guys, I'm Shibuy the one for and I'm making this video for a patch rundown of MLBB Mobile Legends Bang Bang Patch 1.4.28. So recently, kakalabas lang ng bagong patch ng Mobile Legends featuring a lot of stuff, lalo na yung MLBB 2.0 and actually a lot of nerf across the heroes and across the running meta. So first up would be of the MLBB 2.0. MLBB 2.0 has arrived with the patch 1.4.28, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, with this MLBB 2.0, eh, mas maganda na ngayon yung user interface ng Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Sobrang inimprove ng graphics, mga kaibigan, that even yung waterfall sa gilid, eh, kahit yun, dinisenyo talaga nila, ni-revamp nila. Even the music has been changed, although yung opinion ko sa music, medyo masyadong maraming sound na gong. Ngayon. Bang, mga ganong sound. And of course, the color scheme of the user interface has been optimized towards blue and gold. So, hindi na siya yung parang dark blue. No? So, it's more like lightish blue na yung color ng user interface natin. Also, yung MLBB 2.0 promises a smoother experience and of course, higher quality pagdating sa user interface na ginagamit ng mga players ngayon. Of course, coming along with the patch 1.4.28 is the newest hero 1.1. 1.1 is a high mobility reaper burst na marksman. She is so mobile guys. Very very mobile to a point na you don't need to task or a spell. You don't need to spend anything. All you need to do is just auto attack and you get mini dashes on it. The faster you auto attack, the faster you get the dashes. More than that, she deals very big damage. Although may mga conditions na fulfilled, pero once all those conditions of sparring up the enemy weakness are fulfilled, she actually wraps up a lot of damage. So actually gagawa na lang tayo siguro ng separate breakdown or separate analysis for the hero 1-1 but I'm very excited to actually see her into the running meta I find her very very strong and uh, I think she will be very viable both in comp competitive and even in the rank queues along with the patch as well is of course the Farsa revamp kumbaga revamp bagong Farsa daw although that is just uh, another word for uh, big updates for certain heroes so ano nga ba yung binago kay Farsa dito first up would be the wings by wings yung wings by wings ni Farsa can actually allow you to fly over terrains no? pwede na kayo lumipad sa mga terrains dito it allows Farsa to actually escape some tough situations and actually be more aggressive lalo pa may insurance ka ng wings by wings another one would be her new ability which is called curse of the pro which marks the target and once you hit an auto attack or maybe land a spell on a marked target using this curse of a uh, crow, eh magkakaroon ng stun yung kalaban nyo. So gets, mas dinagdagan ngayon yung damage kit ni uh, Maring Parsa dito which is a good thing para sa mga Parsa users. But probably the bad thing here is of course the limitation on the Feathered Air Strike. Feathered Air Strike is not anymore unlimited. And hindi mo na siya pwede ikas ng paulit-ulit once you activate the spell. It is only limited to 4 instances kapag bumaksok siya. Pero don't worry, mas mabilis siya ngayon, mas mahapde, and again, with the curse of throw, kapag may tinamaan ka nga, comboed with that spell, eh, merong stun yung kalaban mo. So, I find that the burst on Farsa will be bigger. Hindi na nga lang siya ganun ka-zoning kumpara ng dati. You should try her out, I think. Lalo't lalo pa kung naglaro ka rin ng dating Farsa, and maybe let me know in the comment section if, uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you like the new Farsa or do you like the old Farsa? Now we go naman para sa ating mga hero buffs and hero nerfs. First up would be of the buff. Ang unang binuff dito ay si Parin Valier. She uh, he has a nice balance of buff, especially the fireball damage increase at 10 at all levels. And even his burst damage increase by 5. Maliit lang, mga plus 15 nga lang. No? And Avengers of Flame will also get an increased bonus damage na nadagdagan siya ng around 5% you know, on the early levels. So, parehas pa rin pagdating naman sa later levels. It's, it's a small buff para kay Valir, pero I think it is needed then by Valir. Uh, uh, I think mas mahina na nga si Valir kumpara ng dati. And uh, without this buff, probably baka mawala na naman si Valir. Gaya ng panahon na hindi nga natin siya pinapansin. Now, another buff will be on Tigreal. Now, this is actually a very interesting buff. I don't know why. You play Tigreal for the crowd control, but what is buff on him is the attack wave. Attack wave has lower cooldown now and lower mana cost. So, uh, the good thing about Valor dito is at least he contributes pretty well on the laning phase, especially with this attack wave. Pero if you really want to buff up the Tigreal, I think maybe just do something about his mobility or maybe crowd control. Although, Tigreal pa rin, in my opinion, is also a viable tank, especially with the running meta right now. Up next would be on the buff for Kadita. So, isa sa mga buff naman ngayon ay nagawa para kay Kadita. And this is really, really nice para sa mga Kadita users dito. The rough waves, no? Yung ultimate niya na maraming bumubugang waves has been buffed in a sense na hindi na binawasan, rather, binawasan yung decay sa damage on a target, on a single target na makaka-receive ng multiple waves mula sa ultimate. 
So that means mas mataas yung single target bears dito. Imaring ka dita and yeah, more damage, more fun, di ba? All right, so. For the final buff is of course one of the biggest in my opinion. Although depende pa rin to, it is not really a buff directed for the champion. It is what I could say. Well, let's just say it's a buff, no? For Selina. Now, one of the biggest changes here is that the traps ni Selina can now be used for an arrival. It is now treated as a unit, as a tower, and that's the best part about it. If well coordinated ang team niyo, you can actually utilize this on using your arrival, not anymore on lanes. Usually, arrival ay ginagamit sa mga lanes dito, especially if you're teleporting towards turrets, you're teleporting towards the minions. Pero with the traps of the Selina, you can now see some arrivals that may be popping up during jungle skirmishes. And that would be very exciting. So, kung magay di nga talaga ito para kay Selina, but more on compositions that utilizes Selina. Alright, para naman sa mga nerf mga kaibigan, first up would be on the Masha. Masha's percent base damage has been reduced by 1%. A general reduction pagdating sa kanyang damage. Although yung Thunderclap niya, no, yung Thunderclap cooldown niya is cost lesser HP. Uh, kung di tayo namamali, I think 50% yata to 30%. But it cost lesser HP, guys. All of the cooldown is now increased to 6 seconds. In a sense, it's still a nerf. But one of the worst nerf para kay Masha dito is of course of the effect of the Rose Gold feature and Queen's Weeks. These items account for your percentage health kapag nabawasan and dati ina-account yung single health bar lamang ni Masha. Ngayon ang ina-account na ay yung buong 3 health bars ni Masha which is a very very big nerf. Again, in, in a sense, yung dating Queen's Wings na poprock mo ng tatlong beses kay Masha. Ngayon, isang beses na labang. A very very big nerf. Now on to back siya naman mga kaibigan, Shield of Spirit is buff, in-improve yung Shield of Spirit. But the interesting part about Shield of Spirit ni Baxa is hindi mo siya minamax up eh. Ang minamax up mo would be of course the Baxa Shield Unity and the Tortoise Presence, di ba? You want more mobility on the Baxa compared to the dueling that is done by the Shield of Spirit. And that's the sad part kasi itong mga ginagamit spell ni Baxa ay yun pa ang nerf. Worst up would be the Tortoise Presence. Tortoise Presence has been nerfed with the magic bonus reduced to 30% from 50%. That is a very very big nerf guys because remember a Tortoise Presence is a DOT. It's a damage over time and even kahit gano'ng paka small yung nerf na yan that is reflected on every instance damage na nagagawa ng Tortoise Presence. 30 to 50% halos na nga lahat eh yung damage niya. But of course, that is if you build back siya on the damage orientation. No? Lagyan mo siya ng magic damage. Something like that. Baxia Shield Unity, also pinahina din. Pero slight na slight lang. Right now, ang diretsong bundol sa Baxia Shield Unity, yung gulong niya, would be, ka, would be allowing a stun of 0.5 seconds. Hindi na 1 second. So, yun yung nerf. Nakalahati yung stun sa bundol ni Baxia. Pero, kung ipapatalon mo ang iyong Baxia, habang gumagulong, parehas pa rin na 1 second ang stun. So, you just make sure, and you need to practice that when you utilize the Baxia Shield Unity, you make sure that you back. Next up would be of a Hylos nerf. The Hylos nerf naman is done on the Glorious Pathway. This is actually a very big nerf for the Hylos, pero I don't think na malalaglag sa running meta si paring Hylos. The reduction on the HP regen is done to 3% from 4% on the early levels na magiging equal naman pagdating sa later levels at 5%. Yes, 1% lamang yun on the early levels, but most of the time, the game-changing team fights ay nangyayari sa early levels. Dito sa Philippine meta, sobrang importante ng early game para sa atin. And this regeneration we're talking about, this is recurring regeneration. At kahit 1% lang yan, ibig sabihin yan, kada instance na nagre-regen si Hylos ay bawas yun ng 1%. It's a big nerf. Now, we have Esmeralda naman na Storm and Casket Basic Attack Coefficient nerf by 0.55 from 0.7. A reduction of 0.15 Ladies and gentlemen, and that is also big in terms that it is a basic attack. So every basic attack mo, ramdam mo yung 0.15 na yan. And I think mababawasan yung damage capacity dito ni Esmeralda. But the durability is still there. I still believe that Esmeralda is still viable pagdating sa competitive meta and even in the ramp queues. Now we have another nerf on Tukufra. Sobrang daming nerf mga kaibigan. We got the decrease of 80 HP sa kanyang base health dito. And also a spell curse nerf. No, yung passive niya. Yung ticket na binibigay. From 8% it is down to 6% na lamang. Alright, another nerf would be on to Grok. Now, this is big. There is a reduction of exactly 100 damage para sa power of nature ni Grok. Napakalaking bagay nito. Napakalaking kawalan because if you wanna consider the early wave clear that you want to do in the lane by level 1 with Grok, baka hindi mo na magawa yun with just single auto attacks than the minion after the power of nature. Baka dalawang auto attacks na yung kailanganin mo. Well, depende pa rin sa hero na ka-partner ni Grok. 
but that 100 nerf on the damage of the Glock doon sa power of nature. I think it's a big one, especially of the control that Glock users wants to provide for the early game. Now, we have another nerf naman para kay Diggy. Actually, this is a question mark. No? Hindi ko alam kung talagang nerf ito or buff because what is written doon sa ating uh, game mismo is that reverse time now removes all negative effects. I don't think this is the real effect or ito yung talagang tamang update. Parang namali lamang yung pagkakasulat sa patch. I think what they mean by reverse time is time journey. I don't think this is reverse time because reverse time is an offensive debuff. Panghuli ng kalaban. It is ridiculous if you remove all negative effects when in itself, reverse time is a negative effect. Now, I think this is time journey. So, time journey, kung ito magiging effect ng time journey, removes all negative effects. Hindi lang yan diba pang alisin ng time journey. Pero the idea here is, time journey doesn't just prevent CC anymore. It removes crowd control. Which is usually, pwede mo ka pa rin kasing hulihin ang isang kalaban kung nauna kang makastan before the time journey. Kung o kunyari, na divine judgment mo ang, ang digi bago siya makapag time journey, papasok pa rin yung divine judgment mo. So, ngayon, hindi na siguro mangyayari yun. That is if this is time journey. <laughs> so, <laughs> Munton, alamin natin. Alright, so we have a nerf as well on the Kaja. So, the cooldown of the divine judgment has been increased to 60 seconds on the later levels. Originally, 60, 55, and 50 magigin na siyang 60 seconds all across the board. I don't think this is actually a heavy nerf. Maybe malaking nerf pagdating doon sa late game, no? Pero normally, you don't get that much. You don't get that much opportunity rin naman na makapag-ultimate pagdating doon sa late game. Still, what you want for the Kaja is the early game and mid-game crisis. And the difference about that is around 5 seconds. Kind of hard, kind of hard. Pero if you got the right item, okay pa rin naman. Kasi the thing about Kaja is not really the divine judgment, but the damage. After the Divine Judgment has been cast, and even the zone up na pwede ko yung dito. Not to mention, he is a really good user of the Necklace of the Rods, which is a very nice item for the running meta right now. So, another nerf would be on the guard. A direct nerf para sa kanyang ultimate, which is the Mystic Gush, no? Hindi lang base damage yung binawasan, pati na rin yung kanyang scaling damage. That means all these items, for example, a Holy Crystal, would be as less effective compared to the previous patch with the multiplier reduced to 0 0.5 from 0 0.6. And of course, for the final nerf, the final nerf recipient would be of the Gushon. Not much of a nerf, really. It is just the sword spikes low, reduced from 10% to 6%. I don't think this is actually a pretty impacting nerf para kay Gushon because the strong point ng Gushon is not really the crowd control. Actually, nagulat nga ako na may crowd control si Gushon dito. It is, of course, the damage to Gushon and the mobility, the access to heroes. So, uh, itong ganitong reduction lang, well, it gives you more opportunity actually to reposition yourself by the moment that he wants to recast that uh, sword spike. Pero, ayun, Gushon will still do what he does best even with this kind of nerf. Kahit nangalahati yung slow ng sword spike, I think good Gushon players will still be stellar on the Gushon. There you have it guys, all the updates coming in from the patch 1.4.28 mula sa Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Guys, if you like this video, do not forget to press subscribe and of course, click on the bell icon. But first, let me know. Tell me your insights of what you want, what kind of contents you want to see. Ang new supporta is what will make this kind of videos and more videos in the future possible. So, let me know. Do leave a comment, guys. Tell me your insights. What do you think of the patch? Awit ba or Gucci? Guys, I'm Shibuya1 for and I'll see you on the next video.